What's going on everyone? So AMC another day and we're still above the $55 price point currently when I'm filming this and AMC not much has gone on besides the fact that it's maintained its base level above the $50 price point so far and we're just getting started at least that's what I think. So if you guys are watching this right now like this video for AMC if you think it's going to go to the moon be sure to Share this with your friends as well because I'm making daily updates on AMC daily. Now, currently right now, what is happening? Well, it's currently not even lunchtime. It's not even noon yet. So majority of the volume hasn't even started when I've created this video. It's only in like the hundred few, a few hundred mil plus, give or take. And since the last few days and even last week, the pattern has been that during pretty much the peak of the day, volume significantly increases almost as if it like 5x's and breaks 500 plus 600 plus mil so currently right now it's just trading and consolidating right now not much is happening but in terms of news on amc just some more data i'm gonna definitely share with you guys some things that i've noticed that are some things you definitely want to keep your eye about and just remember this video is my own opinion be sure to use the video only for entertainment purposes only this is not financial advice be sure you're before making any investments. But let's start off with the first thing right here. But let's just go off here and let's look at some Reddit posts. See what's going on because typically there's a lot of stuff and updates. Now here this guy posted today. And in case you guys didn't know about the uh, naked shorts and all the conspiracy theories about that. I made an entire video on my channel. It's like two videos back from this one that pretty much describes it and like what's going on. But here this guy states on this tweet or I say this uh, photo. If we Xeroxed our car title 100 times and sold it to 100 people, and each of them paid us cash, we would only have one car, by the way, that is essentially a good analogy to say what negative shorting is. And then he stays in Texas, that's what we call stealing. And AKA illegal, which by definition is apparently is illegal, yet I've seen people say that a lot of the big um, ballers apparently are doing this and it just doesn't make any sense to me. I've even seen tweets like, how is this possible when it's something illegal? Like, how come there's no regulations on this, right? We don't know the normal retail investors how this is going down or if it is even going down. But if it is going down and then some regulation starts to crack down on this, then that could potentially be big news for AMC. But we don't know yet. But basically, this is by Wes Christian, which is an attorney fighting Wall Street bets fraud, which is crazy to see that is finally starting to, at least in terms of social media, get some sort of investigation regarding this type of uh, practice, right? Because no, no one knows really what's going on. And if it is going on, how is it happening? And especially if you're a retail investor in a stock where big uh, institutions or companies are doing something illegal, that significantly impacts the price. And that's essentially what uh, a lot of the research, the theories that everyone says with AMC is going down. And if everything unfolds as if we predicted, then yes, we could see AMC go crazy. But until then, it's just a waiting game, guys. Now, this was interesting. And I, I just like to see him post um, how people are looking at it. And I think this one's really interesting because I know a lot of people have seen some crazy posts where they say some price predictions, like six-figure price predictions, etc. Now, this person says... Basically, summary is he thinks they're going to spike to 10K, crash down to 2. And before I even continue with that post, AMC at 2K is already ridiculously high for the initial price point at like the 50. So may maybe if that were, to, were the case and that happens in a couple of weeks from now when I make another update video, AMC is in the four figure thousands of plus dollars, then I'll be... I'll be there. I'll make an update. But until then, we're looking at just currently today, 55 bucks. And this person is stating that 10K, it's the break and it's going to crash. So I think this is interesting because a lot of people think AMC is going to hit a big high four figure number for some reason without really any justification besides the fact that they think shorts are going to cover and then no one sells, right? So. Would I love to see AMC at these price points? 100%. Love that, right? But I think the thing is how diamond hands, I guess you could say the, ten, the term, or the actual investors of AMC, which apparently 80% of retail apparently owns it, 
how strong are they going to hold, right? Because at the point, if AMC were to even hit a few hundred dollars, two, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, even a K, there's going to be a ton of multimillionaires solely just from AMC. So for someone who put in a few thousand in and it goes up to a number where you're now a millionaire, I think most people in that position who are not financially, you know, free or essentially aren't doing super well probably would take profits. And that's going to be assuming they're in the few hundreds of AMC dollar share price, yet let alone 10K or even 2K. So that's definitely something to consider. Then the, another thing too is even if it were to hit these prices, liquidity wise, a lot of people are probably going to take profits up as it goes. There's no way 100% of people are going to just hold their stock all day because people already sold, right? So that's definitely something to consider. But if it were to hit those prices, there's going to be a historical moment. I think the internet's going to break and the world's going to flip upside down. But until then, we have to wait and see. And he apparently said the DTCC, they have 35 days to cover. And then once margin is called and funds are liquidated. And he says it could hover around 2 to 5K for weeks. So... If I'm reading that correctly, I'm assuming that's what he means by per price share. So again, we have to wait and see. And I can leave the comments. Let's see what the people are saying about the um, the thoughts. And this guy says floor is 500k, not 30k. So it's like at this point, people are just randomly putting out numbers. Now at this, if, if AMC were to hit these numbers, I'm sure some sort of um, higher power regulatory figure would would regulate or do something. To prevent this because you literally crash the dollar at that point I, I feel like if imagine there's people who put in like a couple hundred bucks multi-millionaires at that point the value of the USD is like it'd just be ridiculous right now I've seen some videos hedge funds and like um, analysis on that if it were to actually hit these crazy numbers but um, it's it just we have to wait until it happens right now these numbers uh, these are way out of reach I'll believe it when I see it but currently right now I think the, the main thing is one, we need to break out of 75 and then 100. And then from there, then we can start to see some crazy numbers. Until then, if it just still trades sideways and nothing happens, then in terms of prices, like we can't really say much, right? Now, if I thought I post this video, could it break those numbers? Yeah, it could. Or it could just stay sideways and just chill. We don't know yet. But short term right now, let's just look at what's really, what is actually that factual that we can physically see ourselves and this this is one thing is the, the thing i like to say is the news right i say i say this all the time is once we see the news media start covering agency see heavily more demand the more reach is going to start to increase so like just from the past week i haven't seen that many articles now look at today last 24 hours just look at all these big big news headlines boom another yahoo business insider cnbc wall street court and you can see here and it continues and continues and it's all recent these aren't like old articles so media coverage is coming it's starting so in terms of trend search volume definitely up that's definitely something to consider and then also one thing to remember too is um a lot of the execs actually did sell some shares so like we can see here let's see if i can find the actual uh, thing right here you can see here that um the chr pretty much chief human uh resource officer they sold forty thousand shares last week raked in 2.5 mil and they apparently own still 44k AMC shares, which is ridiculous. So just remember, imagine the executives if AMC hits like 10k, like there'd be so so much money they have. Like it would be it wouldn't be funny how much they would money they own. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. But um, that's just like a little uh, fun fact I want to show with you guys. And then here we're on pretty much AMC again. Everyone's like, I want to sell, I want to sell. So I think it's it's interesting because everyone has price that they're gonna get out. So we we'll have to wait and see what people think. But I did see some posts where people were saying pretty much that we need to break 60, 60 to 70. If we can do that today, that's going to be huge. But until then, we will have to wait. This person says short interest, 11.6. Utilization, 86%. Shores on loan, 92 mil. We have to fact check some of those stuff. But for the most part, we will have to wait and see. But do let me know your thoughts, price predictions. On AMC, do you think it will break 100 bucks in the next few days? Or what do you think his price point is going to be in a couple weeks from now? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe, share this video, and I'll see you in the next one.